Hi, in the last video, I have talked about how to use the PoE power over Ethernet technology to power the media converter. Here we have a very typical fiber optical system. We just use the pre make fiber optic cable to connect the point A and point B, and we do need this media converter. The reason is because we cannot connect the fiber optic cable directly to our IP device. The media converter will convert the fiber optic signal to electronic signal, but the problem is the media converter also needs the power. So now here we are using the PoE technology. This is the PoE injector. It will add the power through this K6 Ethernet cable, and the PoE splitter will separate the data and power. The power will go through the media converter, and we use the short punch code to link this media this PoE splitter to the media converter. So in some of the application, let's say we need to place this media converter outside of the building, and the power source is not available. So we can just use the PoE technology to send the power through the router. We don't need to have the power source available here. But now we've got another thing. Let's say, let's just move to the camera end. This is the camera end. We have another media converter. It looks a little bit kind of messy. The reason is because we need the power for this media converter. We also need the power for the camera, right? So we, we've got two power source. One is for the media converter, another is for the camera. But let's say, if there's distance, significant distance between the camera and the media converter, let's say it's about 300 feet. In the case, we may need to have two independent AC power outlets, one for supplying the media power source for the media converter, another for the camera. So in this solution, I'm going to use, also use the PoE technology. We can either use the PoE technology through this way or next to the camera. Let's say I just want to use the PoE to power this camera. So in this case, I can remove at least one of the power source. Even the power source is not available with the camera, we still can use the cable, this Cat6 Ethernet cable to power the camera. Okay, in order to set up, we need to use, replace the media converter with this one. This is the media converter with the PoE technology. It looks a little bit bigger, but not much different. We also have the power input, but this is the power for DC 48 voltage. It's not the DC 2012, because this is the power source for the PoE. And here we got one SRP slot. This also will connect to this fiber optic cable. And we got two RJ45 PoE port. That means we can connect two of the PoE device, like one IP camera or two IP cameras. OK, now first let's just remove the power source, because we don't need this power source. We are going to remove the power source. Also, we are not going to use this media converter, so we are going to replace this one. All right, now let's just prepare the cable. This is the SAP transceiver. So that's the key to work with the fiber optic cable and also the media converter. Now let's just install the connector to the new media converter. Now from here, I can connect one of the port. Just use one port to power the camera. Of course, we also need the power source. We need to this, this have this new power source. This is the DC48, not the 12. So this power source will supply the power for this media converter. Also, the camera. Okay, let me place here. Let's just connect to the DC port. Okay. Once I plug in, I can see now the media converter is getting the power. Also, it's supplying the power for the camera. Now the camera is start moving. I, I can hear the motor is running. That means the camera is getting the power. Also, the data. Let's just see the image. Okay, we can see the camera is live now, but it's a little bit fuzzy because the camera is it's a motorized zoom camera. It will zoom in zoom now to find the best focus. In this case, the maximum distance for this media converter to the camera is up to 328 feet. So even the camera is quite far from your the point access point of the, this media converter or the fiber optic cable, you still can supply the power just next to this media converter to the camera. I think there's one more thing you may wonder why we just use single fiber optic cable, right? We, we, got, we do have two 
duplex, but we just need one. The reason is because we are using the BIDI SP transceiver. You only need single fiber code, and we use different wavelength to transmit and receive the data. So one fiber optic code will be enough. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.